Why play Maokai Jungle? Well, he brings a ton of lockdown. His ganks are incredibly strong, he has brilliant engage, and he's naturally very tanky. However, he does have a weaker early game with a slightly slow clear, and he is very dependent on his team to follow up his amazing engage. Maokai's passive is periodically his next basic attack heals him. Also, each time he casts an ability, hits a champion or epic monster with his E, or is hit by an enemy ability, the cooldown of this passive is reduced by a good amount. Maokai's Q is a straight line seal shot which deals damage to and slows enemies hit. This ability deals massively increased damage to monsters, helping his clear. In addition, enemy Enemies nearby Maokai when this is used are also stunned and knocked back. Maokai's W is a point and click ability which causes him to become untargetable and dash to an enemy. Upon arrival, he deals damage and roots them. Maokai's E throws out a sapling which grants sight of an area. Once the sapling is out, it remains still for 30 seconds or until it sees a nearby enemy. Upon seeing an enemy, it runs towards them and when it collides with them or if it simply expires, it explodes dealing magic damage and slowing all enemies nearby. If this ability was thrown into a brush, it is instead enhanced, where it lasts longer before expiring and upon exploding, it deals double damage over three bursts of damage. In addition, the slow is also stronger and it reveals the hit enemy. Maokai's ultimate creates a large wave of five thorns which advance towards a direction. These will stop upon hitting an enemy champion dealing damage and rooting the enemy hit. This root duration is greatly increased the longer the ability has travelled and after it hits the first enemy champion, Maokai is granted a massive burst of movement speed. In addition, where this ability is slow moving, if this is used at a right angle from the target, it can root the target immediately. For combos, your basic engage combo is to use E into W and an auto attack. Follow up with Q to hit them in the direction you need them to go and then follow up with more autos. If you have ultimate available, start with the same E into into W auto attack Q before following up with your ultimate at a right angle to get the instant root and damage. For matchups, Maokai does great into champions that usually rely on mobility where he can easily lock them down. However, he can struggle against aggressive early game junglers who can shut him down or outvalue him. For runes, take this. Phase Rush enhances his engage and allows him to retreat. For build order, start Green Monster and Pot into Demonic, Tier 2 Boots and a Radiant Virtue. After this, a Sunfire is a great pickup before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E then W before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Smite. Starting the game, your go-to will be to fully clear your jungle. Where your clear isn't the fastest in the game, your passive ensures you'll be healthy while doing so, and you should still have cleared this in time for the Scuttlecrab spawning. If you're able to simply take Scuttlecrab without a fight, this will be a great amount of additional experience and gold. However, if you do have to fight for it, look to either just smite it away, or look to fight if your top and mid have priority so they can roam to you first. After this, you can either look for a gank, or simply just back and start your next clear. When looking for a gank, always consider the three main points of what CC does your team bring, what escapes does the enemy have, and where is the lane pushed to. As you bring so much CC yourself, it's often best a targeted lane where your team deals a ton of damage. If you're able to simply walk up to your opponent and use Q, this puts you in an incredibly strong position where you have great kill threat. As if they flash or dash away, you can easily follow up with your W. Entering the mid game, one of your main strengths is objective control. Your ease and ultimate easily controls the river, so ward aggressively, look for picks and convert them to objectives. Entering late game team fights, you want to play as your teams engage. Start the fight by hitting your ultimate on as many opponents as possible. Not only does this give you great lockdown and a surprisingly good damage, but it also gives you a massive burst of movement speed. Use this to EW one of their carries and then Q them towards your team for some very easy follow-up.